about 1.30. I am finally up and out of bed. I've been watching vlogs all morning. After I watched The Talking Dead, I'm still upset about that last episode. But I am up and about. I'm in my boot. Only going to walk to the car because I have to go for my pre-op for my bladder surgery, which I'm having on the 4th, which is Thursday. So my mother-in-law is here. Well, poke your head in there, Mom, and say hi. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> so she's taking me over for my pre-op, and then I will be back, back in bed, foot up, because I am definitely following these instructions. Kevin's making me keep the band on that says that I'm a fall risk. <laughs> and... I'm going to get my foot back up and watch more of your vlogs so I can finally play catch up with everything. So I will catch you guys all a little later. So hey guys, here I am sitting in the doctor's office waiting for the urologist to come in. Um, one thing I don't understand is they say when you're in pain your blood pressure is high. And my blood pressure was low and I am in a lot of pain right now with my foot. So, I don't understand that all the time. But, just waiting now for the urologist to come in and take a look at my um, situation with my bladder and to do the pre-op work that we need to do so I can get scheduled for my surgery on Thursday. Catch y'all a little later. So guys, I had a very interesting day. I had a 2.30 appointment to meet with my urologist for my pre-op for my surgery that's going to happen on Thursday. Sat in the room for an hour, did not get to meet the doctor. My mother-in-law went out and said, hey, you know, we need to use the restroom. So the nurse comes in and says, oh, here's your after-visit summary. Here's your cup to do a urine sample in and you need to go to the lab and do blood work. After an hour of sitting in there, I didn't get to meet the doctor and that's all that they did. So I was a little upset about that because I wanted to meet the doctor who's going to be doing my surgery. So we go to the lab and we do everything I have to do at the lab and I'm leaving the lab and they said, oh, the nurse called and they want you to go back to urology. So I went to urology and we go back into the room and I'm sitting there and about 15 minutes later the doctor comes in and he introduces himself and he goes over the procedure and everything that's going to be done and then he tells me that not only do they do this test or do this procedure for this condition or disease that I have, it also helps them to determine if there's other problems. So, that's everything about that. And on Friday, I have a post-op appointment for my shoulder. Now, post-op means after surgery. I still haven't gotten the results of my MRI. And if I even need to have surgery, go figure! So, that's my fun day. Well, I think this is going to be a, a short vlog tonight because um, um, we've not been having good days. Um, my big story today is I came, went back to work f for the first day in a week since I took a week off for um, uh, Thanksgiving, and uh, they fired me quite unceremoniously and without explaining why. So I am currently out of work. So. You've been there for 14 years I've worked at this place so that's the way business is so if anybody's out there is looking for a human resource manager I'm available <laughs> right now it's gonna be uh, I guess a little thinner Christmas than we expected we're not the best of, of savers and so uh, hopefully I'll get a job soon and that's it so, on that note, I would like to say that, to me, <laughs> I think it's a blessing in disguise that Kevin's no longer with this company because for the past three or four years, he's 
been miserable working there. And I know financially it's going to be a struggle for us, but if it makes him happier and healthier not being there, then I'm all for it. It paid well, was about it, all I could say. It, it was, did pay well. It got paid well, and it, it let us do what we do. So. And it had great insurance and was able to, you know, get my surgeries and everything. But we'll we'll get through. We always we always do. We always will. But I'm excited in the fact that you know not to replace it um but until he finds something it will give us time to get back into our woodworking shop and do some woodworking together Let's see if i can get the garage clean <laughs> you have no excuse for time now <laughs> so i'm excited about doing that kind of stuff again too so that 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 makes me happy but like Kevin said, it is going to be a little thinner Christmas, but... Oh, and we're probably not going to be able to have our... Uh... Oh, yes. We're not going to do the ugly sweater party. We're going to have to postpone that. But we are still going to take your pictures of you guys in your ugly sweaters and still give out the gift that we have. So, uh -oh. please send your ugly sweater pictures to us still. And... Yay! Yay. I don't think we're going to do shout-outs tonight. Because uh, it's kind of late, and I've been at the doctor's for so long, and I just want to get in bed and put ice on my foot and put my foot up and relax. So, can we pass shout-outs tonight? Yeah, that's fine with me. All right, we're going to pass shout-outs tonight. So, you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for you all. We love you. Thank you. Thumbs up. And we will see you all tomorrow. Bye.